<laughs> Hello po sa inyo lahat! Thank you sa lahat na itong mga nanonood dyan. Thank you so much. So, today is another day and another vlog for all of us, mga kapatid. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nag-support sa atin. So, before tayo mag-umpisa, pasalamatan mo na din lahat ng mga nag-subscribe. Maraming salamat sa inyo sa lahat ng mga nag-likes and comments ng mga previous videos natin. Thank you so much sa lahat ng mga nag-share. Maraming salamat din po sa inyo. And, may araw to, magsha-shoutout tayo. So, magsha-shoutout tayo kay Nang Girly. Hello, Nang Girly. Kamusta? So, maraming salamat sa support mo, Nang Girly. So, hello everyone! So, ngayong araw na to, this is another day and another vlog. So, ngayong araw na to, pag-uusapan natin kung ano nga ba ang ginagawa namin mga physical therapist. So, i-explain ko sa inyo, guys, kung ano nga pa ang trabaho naming mga physical therapist. So, kung interesado kayo, gusto niyo malaman kung ano nga ba ang trabaho namin, anong mga cases ang pwede yung ipapiti, stay tuned! Every single day physical therapist. So, siguro pag narinig, narinig nyo, no, narinig nyo una yung PT nga, siguro una yung itatanong is magaling or first comment niya siguro is magaling siguro yung magbasahe. <laughs> Di ba po? Parang very common talaga yan, parang narinig natin na, na ah, PT ka, ang galing siguro magbasahe. Pamasahe nga, minsan ganun, di ba? Pamasahe nga, singa, sample nga, masahingin mo nga ako. Di ba? <laughs> Oy, di ba? Nakaka-relate. So, talagang yan yung pinaka-common na talagang um, narinig natin, no, na sinasabi, nag-iilan, na magaling daw magbasahe yung mga PT. So, minsan, hindi natin maiiwasan mga kapatid, talagang Ah, uh, minsan parang ano ba, hindi naman hindi naman na offend kasi medyo naaanda ako na yung sarili ko sa ganyan. Para magiba ng mindset natin pag may narinig tayong ganyan. It's more on parang kailangan nating i-explain or kailangan nating i-educate din yung yung tao or anyone na parang hindi wala masyadong knowledge na kung ano parang ginagawa ng PT. So, more on i-understand natin yung mga ganun. Hindi tayo na na offend. Siguro dati kasi hindi natin naman kaintindihan bakit parang ina-associate nila yung PT, yung physical therapist sa pagmamasahe. So, parang later on, parang na-realize natin siguro dahil um, sa massage therapist, dahil sa therapist na no word na. So, 'di ba parang sounds like kasi physical therapist tapos massage therapist. So, kaya siya na-associate or correlate sa pagmamasahe dahil nga sa therapist na word. So, but, syempre nga, i-end na natin yung mga, yung mga haka-haka na yan, no, ikang, yun yung mga, um, mga, ano natin, um, i-end na natin yun, yung mga, yung mga misconceptions, no, mga misconceptions na yan, i-end na natin yan. Sa vlog na ito, i-explain ko sa inyo, mga kapatid, no, kung, ano nga ba, ang trabaho namin mga physical therapist. So, yun po, let's start. Okay, so before natin i-define guys no, kung ano ba yung meaning ng physical therapy or physical therapy, gusto ko lang i-differentiate din yung um, courses, no, the course, the span of time na kinukuha para ma-finish yung course for PT and for massage therapy. So I think, no, hindi ako sure kung gano'n talaga siya katagal for massage therapy, pero I think kaya mo i-finish your yung course kung gusto yung, yung mapag-aralan, yung basic na uh, for massage, no, and gusto yung mag-apply for, for example, mga spa or kung saan man, I think I'll finish it in a few months. No, I'm not sure, siguro, pero um, maybe six months, two months, six months, siguro, pero hindi talaga siya abot in one year if you want to know the basic. No. Whereas, naman, for physical therapy naman, um, in my, during my time, so physical therapy is offered for, um, offered in my school for 5 years. So it's a 5 years course and um, talagang wala pa, hindi pa included sa 5 years na yung mga kapatid yung every year na yung summer class. So yun yun, during my time. But I think um, today, para kasi nga, ngayon, kasi nabago na yung curriculum, kasi nga may ano na, K-12 na. So I think ano na lang siya, 4 years na lang. Sa school namin dati ha, parang 4 years na lang in-offer na yung PT. Okay, so ngayon, we, were, we are going to start na and... Kailangan natin yung tulong ni Kumare, Kumareng Google, tsaka ni ano natin, ni Kumpadre, ni Kumpadreng Wikipedia. So, according sa kanila, no, humingi ng tulong sa kanila, according sa kanila, ang PT daw, or physical therapy, also known as physiotherapy. So, physiotherapy talaga yung tawag. Mas common kasi yung mansa yung physiotherapy na term eh. It's one of the allied health profession that by using evidence-based kinesiology, electrotherapy, shock wave modality, exercise prescription, joint mobilization, and health education treats conditions such as chronic or acute pain, soft tissue injuries, cartilage damage, arthritis, gait disorders, and physical impairments Typically of musculoskeletal, cardiopulmonary, neurological, 
and endocrinological origins. Huh! <laughs> Nahintindihan niyo ba yun? <laughs> Ang haba, no? Ang komplikado naman ni Google, eh, ni Kumari, tsaka ni Kumpadre, Kumpadre ng Wikipedia. Ang komplikado nila, no? Very simple lang naman yun, guys. So, i-explain ko sa inyo. So, ngayon, explain na natin. Okay, so, yun nga, nakita nyo nga kanina. So, nakita nyo, no? That's it. Yun yung sinabi ni, ni Kumari, tsaka ni Kumpadre natin. So, explain natin yun para mas maintindihan na lahat, no? Kung ano bang ibig sabihin yun. So, sabi nga nila, yung physical therapy or physiotherapy, isa yun sa mga allied health profession. So, ano ibig sabihin ng allied health profession? Of course, allied kasi nga, mag, uh, isa lang siya sa mga sa ibang mga medical professions din na um, nakasama natin. So, ibang mga medical profession is allied is nurses, no, dentists, doctors, no, um, meron tayong mga speech therapists, no, occupational therapists, no, ano pa bang iba? Um, yes, madami eh. Um, ano pa bang iba? Sa psychiatry, no, allied health professional din yan. So, matami. So, yan lang yun. Isa lang yun, yung PT. So, it's a part of uh, medical field din na, na natutulong-tulong, no, in order for to help those um, mga pasyente natin that are in need, no. Kasi each patient naman may specific need. Eh. So, isa lang yun, yung PT. And, hindi basta-basta because, of course, it uses evidence-based. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng evidence-based? So, isimplihan natin. Ang ibig sabihin nun, guys, is lahat ng ginagamit na treatment, lahat ng techniques, lahat ng ginagamit for management ng PT is lahat um, merong evidence. Lahat is proven. Lahat uh, dumaan ng research. No, kung baga, merong research study. Lahat dumaan ng systematic um, systematic process no para ma-apply yon or para uh, ma-approve yon na um, pwedeng gamitin no as a treatment no sa mga sa mga cases so hindi siya basta-basta hindi siya um, basta-bastang inimbento lang yon kaya siya kaya siya ginagamit or kaya siya ina-apply sa case na yon no it's not so everything that uh, we use to manage or to treat certain condition is based on research so, meron siyang, um, merong, ano, um, evidence-based siya. So, ano yun? Ano yung mga sangay na yun na sinabi kanina na evidence-based? Ganito, ganito, ganyan. So, first, evidence-based siya na kinesiology. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng kinesiology? So, kines, kines is movement. L Siyempre, kinesiology is a study of movement. So, everything pertains to movement. No, that's kinesiology. So, which means na lahat din ng movement in the body, no, hindi lang basta-basta, everything, everything that gives movement, no, whether it's a thing or a human or it's, of course, physical therapy is for, for human, no, for human body, it, co uh, it is called kinesiology, study of movement, kinesiology. So, everything that has movement, evidence-based practice for movement. Electrotherapy. Ano yung electrotherapy, guys? So, anything, any equipment, any um, device na gumagamit ng um, kuryente. That's electrotherapy. So, kaya we have also um, certain, um, we have, yeah, we have um, equipments that uses um, sound waves. Or we have equipments that uses um, current in order to increase muscle strength, for example, in, um, um, also to decrease the pain. No, kasi number one then a very common na uh, na tinitreat natin is, of course, we, we um, treat patients na merong pain, no? Pain. So, pain management. So, in order to, to address the, their problem with pain, we use no, um, electrotherapy. So, meron tayong mga equipments na ginagamit siya to control their pain or to decrease the pain. So, we have also shockwave modality. Okay, so we're explaining yung shockwave modality. So, we have, um, yes, uh, we have the picture here. So, yung shockwave modality is it's a non-invasive na, na, 
na modality no it's an equipment non invasive which means na hindi conservative siya so hindi mo kailangan operahan hindi mo kailangan i-open yung certain problem for example you have pain on uh, meron kang sakit sa paato for example no this ito yung paa mo so merong pain din sa baba that's very common no especially sa mga medyo may edad-edad na no masakit yung talampakan yun for example may pain ka sa talampakan so hindi mo kailangan operahan or tignan niyo sa loob so it's non invasive hindi hindi siya kailangan ng surgery no um very safe uh, meron kala, meron siyang uh, parang meron siyang iniinit na wave pulses eh pulses na to control the pain. So, it's basically, ano siya eh, um, ano siya, for pain control. No, common siya sa, sa may mga injuries, no, for example, tendon, merong cartilage or tendon injury, no, or mga chronic na pain na, na problem. So, yun, basically, for pain management din siya. And then, next is exercise prescription. So, of course, since physical therapist, no, very important no kasi um kumbaga yung ano yung wala din namang use kasi if nagde-depend na tayo sa mga modalities na ganyan no without doing the exercise so exercise is very important we also learn how to how to give proper or prescribe proper exercises because hindi hindi lahat ng exercises applicable no sa sa case niyo so if it's better to consult um, to consult anyone or physical therapist if ever you have problem in, for example, problem in low back. No? Just like what we have posted last in our last vlog na yun nga, may problem ka sa low back. Hindi lahat ng exercise is applicable sa'yo if meron ka problem sa low back. So it depends on your case, kung anong condition meron ka, kung anong meron sa loob. That's why it's very important also to consult your doctor kasi maraming tests na gagawin. So, pwede yung tingnan pa yung x-ray, things like that, or if hindi makita sa x-ray, kailangan ng MRI, CT scan, no, mga ganung bagay. So, if meron kang mas malalang problema, no, it doesn't mean na, na if applicable sa kanya, pwede mo rin gawin. Hindi, hindi ganun, kasi pwede mo mas lumala yung nararamdaman nyo. So, if, um, if you're a PT, if you're a PT, you know what's best or what's ex what um, set of exercises is good for a specific condition. So, ganun po yun. And next is joint mobilization. So, ano yung joint mobilization? So, there are certain techniques no, um, that, uh, that are being used in order also to to decrease the pain, no, for decrease the pain, for example, for cases like um, you have uh, rheumatoid arthritis, no, things like that, or you have a tight shoulder, meron ka frozen shoulder, for example, so, meron mga techniques na ginagamit in order to manipulate the joint, no, joint mobilization, so, meron techniques dyan, it, it requires skill also, how to do it, so, hindi basta-basta ginagawa yan ng, ng anyone lang, because it needs and it requires skill, for you to perform it effective, effectively and safely, of course. So, PT lang makakagawa niyan, no? Uh, hindi basta-basta na na hahawakan mo lang yung certain part of the body na meron ng problem and then gagalawin mo siya basta-basta. Because, uh, it's either lalala siya or magiging better siya. So, it's better safe. Di po ba? And then, and health um, education. No? It's very important that um, the person you consult is knowledgeable enough para uh, magbigay sa inyo ng advice regarding your health. So, um, hindi, hindi na tayo masyadong naniniwala sa mga, um, I don't know, but personally, no, hindi, tayo masyadong, hindi tayo naniniwala sa mga hilot-hilot because, uh, I don't know, um, I don't know, kasi syempre tayo medyo na-equip na, na tayo sa school, glory to God, no, na, na ano tayo na ito yung dapat, ito yung, ito yung um, dapat na approach sa mga bagay-bagay. And, um, parang ano pa rin kasi tayo eh, parang, of course, hindi pa, sa Philips, sa uh, Pinas, hindi pa rin ganun ko modern yung ano ba, ng mga tao na, parang pa rin talaga tayong mga ninuno. <laughs> <laughs> mga family members na naniniwala sa mga ganun ganon sa mahilot wala namang wala namang masama doon no um, i-clear lang natin walang masama doon no it doesn't mean na, na 
hindi talaga siya, pag sinabi natin, wala silang um, talagang proper na training or training sa mga ganong bagay, is hindi na sila effective or hindi sila, hindi sila nakakapagbagaling. Meron talagang iilan na manghidot na, na siguro effective talaga. But, of course, before sending them sa mga ganon, you have also to to know or you have also to be open-minded sa mga risk na pwedeng mangyari. Because you don't know eh. No, pwedeng, pwedeng sa ganitong araw na gumaling siya and then, pag, di ba, we don't know. God forbid, pero we don't know what will happen. So, it's better safe, di ba, than sorry. So, yun po. And, health education is very important. Treats conditions such as chronic or acute pain. So, very common yan. So, kahit sa Pilipinas tayo dati, no, um, very common na meron tayong mga pasyente talaga na pupunta because they have this problem sa upper back, na most commonly dito, masakit dito, no, or meron sakit sa low back. So, chronic or acute pain. Ano mo ano ibig sabihin ng chronic? So, the chronic means matagal na. No? It's over it's over 6 months or more than 6 months. It's chronic. It's considered chronic or acute pain bago pa lang. So, it, it may be weeks or 1 month like that. So, it's acute. Still acute pain. So, tinitreat ni natin yan chronic or acute pain. So, Marami kasi, marami pwedeng i-roll out sa ganun. So, kailangan na merong proper din na sinusunod in order to, para malaman natin, of course, merong interview yan, no? I-assess mo muna, ganito, history. So, madami. Para matrace mo din yung cost talaga ng pain na nararamdaman ng pasyente. So, hindi basta-basta. And then, of course, soft tissue injuries. So, siguro, example is, uh, soft tissue injury, for example, um, you have... Uh, uh, for example, meron na tear sa tuhod, no? Because of trauma, nahulog, for example. So, nahulog ka, nagkaroon ng tear, no? Kailangang operahan. So, after operation, kailangan mo ng PT. No? Meron pa nga mga cases na kailangan uh, pre and post operation, kailangan talagang ipa, ipa PT. So, it's very important kasi kailangan din i-condition yung muscle. Kailangan i-condition yung yung, uh, yung structure around around the around, around that area. For example, your knee, kailangan siyang maging malakas in order na maganda yung prognosis, maganda yung um, mas mabilis yung recovery after the operation. And then, um, cartilage damage. So, cartilage damage, no? Common sa mga matatanda. Pwede or pwede na, ano din, trauma, aksidente, ganon. Arthritis. Of course, arthritis is very common din yan. So, um, in some cases, meron kasi mga pasyente talaga na ayaw na ayaw ng operation. Ayaw, pa, ayaw nilang of course, takot, no? Sa, sa, takot sa operation. So, kung gusto nila conservative treatment lang, pwede rin naman mag-piti. Pwede mo pa piti. So, Though na talagang uh, uh, pag-conservative treatment, of course, um, hindi, hindi natin mawawala talaga yung pain na nararamdaman, but we can lessen it through conservative therapy. So, ganun po yan for arthritis. Pain management also. And if talagang nag-ano ka, nag replace mo talaga ng, ng, ng metal, yung knee mo, no, you need also therapy after that. And then, um, gait disorders. So, napaka, napaka broad ng gait disorder. So, gait. Ano ba yung gait? No, it's, it's the way a person, uh, the person walk. No, it's the way the person... Okay, this, of course, it's a manner of how a person walks. Kung paano siya. Certain, um, every, every person has a unique way of walking. So, yun yun, gait. It's a manner of how you walk. No, it's gait. So, gait disorder. So, hindi lahat ng tao is uh, normal. Normal. Though we different manners tayo in how to walk, pero hindi lahat normal. No? Um, there are cases na meron kang problem sa, meron kang disability or something na inborn na pagpanganak sa'yo, meron ka ng, meron kang problem sa foot mo, for example. No? Hindi siya straight, for example. So, tinitreat natin yung ganun para maging kahit pa paano, kung hindi man siya talagang totally manormalize, pero at least, no, maging maayos yung the way the way he or she walks. So, kasi, why? Why it's very important na maayos yung ganung problem? Because, everything starts in one problem. So, for example, meron kang problema sa foot. 
no? And nakita, no, from first glance, at first look, nakikita na may problema ka sa paglalakad, no? There's something wrong. Uh, let's say, hindi level yung right at saka left leg mo. Yung isa mas maikli kaysa sa isa. So, basically, meron ka ng iba na eh. Makikita mo na iba na, iba na yung pag, the way ka maglakad. No? There's something wrong. So, why, bakit kailangan? Doon nakakalakad naman. Nakikita na yun. Nakakalakad siya. Bakit kailangan siya ipapiti? Bakit kailangan bigyan ng attention yung mga ganun bagay? Because it will affect the whole body. No? Some cases, no, not, not all, but most, most of the cases, pag meron kang ganun, it is called leg length discrepancy. No? Merong isang leg mo shorter than the other. Um, it can develop uh, pain. It can develop pain on the hip. It can develop pain on, on the whole back. And later on, it can develop um, further, further problem or further uh, problem on the back. So it can develop scoliosis. For example, scoliosis is the curvature of the spine and the back. So, since it's not level, no, you're doing like this all the time because it's not level, the, the, your other leg is shorter than the other. So, pwede ka mag-develop sa scoliosis because ganun nga yung posture mo maglakad all the time. No, It can cause weakness to the other part of, to the half part of the body. It can cause weakness on the hip, on the, the other hip. It can cause weakness on tightness on certain part of the body kung saan siya na nasusorten. So, Marami, maraming pwedeng maging maging further complication kung hindi yun siya matitreat, hindi siya mabibigyan ng attention. Okay, so moving forward. Okay, so also physical impairments. So ano nga ba yung physical impairments? So physical impairments is something that limits, no, or something that limits you to do your activities of daily living. So for example, you're having a hard time doing this certain job because of that impairment on your physical body. So, it's either yung physical impairment na yan, typically of musculoskeletal. So, ano pong musculoskeletal? So, of course, it pertain pertains to the muscles and the bones because it's skeletal. So, as PTs, no, um, ano din, glory to God, kasi napag-aralan din natin po yung mga ganong mga bagay. No, every muscle of the body, napag-aralan pa natin yan, glory to God, every nerves and every every bone in the body, no, um, napakal din po natin yan during college. So, um, very, uh, very important na as you, as, uh, as we, um, as we manipulate or as we give exercises or as we give um, certain management or treatments sa ating mga pasyente no, is very important that we know also no, kung ano yung anong nasa loob, bakit natin ginagawa to, we can explain. No? I think that's the biggest, uh, that's the main point ng, or main difference ng massage therapist of PT because PT can explain. No? PT can explain why they're doing this. Um, PT can explain kung kung anong part ng muscle yan, anong, anong nerve ang, ang apektado dyan in case na in case na ginagalaw namin yung yung ganung part ng katawan so we can explain it so and then also cardiopulmonary so pwedeng physical impairment no caused by um cardiopulmonary so ano ba yung cardio cardio is the heart pulmonary is sa lungs so pwedeng ganun yung impairment and then neurological neurological which means that it's in the brain brain or spinal cord so everything neurological pinaka-common diyan is of course, um, stroke. Diba? Stroke or, for example, sa mga bata, cerebral palsy. Neurological impairment yan. So, that's why napakaraming types ng mga PT or main field kung saan pwede yung mga PT because nga, sa laki ng scope na pwedeng i-cover ng PT. So, and lastly is the endocrinological origin. So, ano bang isa sa mga very common endocrinological origin, uh, endocrinological na mga sakit? It's diabetes. So, yan, very common din yan. So, we also treat um, the complications of diabetes. So, for example, um, diabetes, very common problem for diabetes. Merong kang problema sa blood flow mo sa certain parts of the body. And then, later on, can develop um, parang weakness no, of the body because nerves are already affected by, by the too much increase of sugar level. So,
Okay, so um, yun iclear iclear lang po natin no yung sinabi natin kanina no we are not saying na hindi hindi kayong explain yung mga massage therapist yung um massage therapist yung talagang ginagawa nila uh, what i am saying is siguro yung um more on the anatomy and the, the physiology we can explain anatomy and the physiology of the body what what parts of the body are we uh, manipulating is our target siguro as physical therapist parang we can explain it further no we can explain it further we can rationalize it further no but we are not saying na i'm not saying na hindi nila kaya ng explain yung ginagawa nila so and uh, with all due respect naman sa lahat ng mga massage therapist natin of course no hindi na talaga um, napaka napakataas na tingin natin sa kanila um, talaga napakahirap no ng work nila and talagang ano um, it requires uh, skill no para para makapagtrabaho no, as a massage therapist. So, um, ayan, glory to God sa mga buhay ninyo, mga kapatid. And just the aim of this vlog is just to explain and to differentiate also the PT, what PTs do and what uh, massage therapists do also. So, yun po. That's it. So, ngayon, magsashare tayo sa inyo no, ng mga natutunan natin and realize natin. So, magsashare tayo ng, ng Bible first, of course, to end this vlog. So, I, our Bible first for today's vlog is 1 Corinthians. Open your book to 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14. So, so yung verse natin dito is, Let all that you do be done with love. Amen. So, um, siguro, on my journey, um, I can consider myself as young pa rin naman, no? Siguro in my journey, sa lahat na napagdaanan natin, um, since college, no? Kasi, I just wanna share to you, yung course ko kasi na to, as PT, is hindi talaga to uh, my personal choice. Parang, ano talaga, um, yung papa ko talaga, yung papa ko, yung Mapasalamat ako sa kay Lord sa buhay ng Papa ko because um, talagang binigyan ng wisdom ng Lord yung Papa ko na ito talaga ipakuha sa aking course because talagang wala, hindi ko alam, wala akong idea kung ano PT, alam ko lang, alam ko lang medical course siya pero hindi ko alam kung ano ginagawa nila, hindi ko alam na mahirap siya alam ko lang 5 years, 5 years siya ng kurso so wala talaga akong idea and hindi ko siya talaga, alam mo walang hanggang sa internship parang wala akong passion talaga dun sa sa ginagawa ko but um noong natrabaho na ako no madami kasi ako na realize eh, like I've learned I've learned how to love how to love it and um I've learned how to love pero walang passion parang there's a big difference kasi sa sa, sa, sa ganung bagay eh you've learned how to love how to love what you're doing pero walang passion so it's uh it's difficult because um parang natutunan mo lang talaga siyang mahalin but you don't know the real purpose why the real purpose why you're doing such diba parang ang gulo no <laughs> pero um this verse reminds us that uh, thank you thank you to the lord for reminding us with this verse that let all that you do be done with love so Dati, yun, yun yung iniisip ko na I've learned how to love pero parang wala akong passion. And then later, I've realized na lahat na ng bagay talaga, uh, lahat ng bagay nadaan with love eh. Lahat ng bagay is uh, matatapos talaga lahat ng with love. No, kung walang love, yung lahat ng ginagawa natin, no, it's useless. Bali, wala talaga siya lahat. So it's very important. Everything we do, we do it with love and we do it for the glory of God. Kasi ngayon, um, Kung dati iniisip ko na wala akong passion sa ginagawa ko, hindi kasi ako magsawa. Kasi yung dati, kasi iniisip ko na, na I'm just I'm just doing this to earn money, I'm doing this because I want money, I want to buy the things, all the things that I want. Hindi ko iniisip na I'm doing it for the glory of God. No, I'm not thinking na parang kailangan gawin ko ito hindi para sa tao, hindi para sa mga pasyente ko, but for for God. Para mapasaya ko yung para ma-please at mapasaya ko si Lord kasi gusto ni Jesus gusto, ni, gusto ng Panginoon na we have the heart
heart like Him. We have a, a heart with compassion, no? A compassionate heart, a heart na katulad sa kanya na na mawin, heart na heart na um, makatulong, no? Sa ibang tao. Everything this that we are doing, it seems less kung walang love. Love alone, for God alone, can complete our life. The same thing. Kahit ang world kasi na to, parang walang contentment eh. Walang, 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 ano, walang, content, walang contentment. No? Walang something na makakasatisfy sa tao. Only, only, the love and the grace that comes from the Lord can complete us, can make us whole. Yun lang talaga yung masasabi ko. It's, it's like, love. Diba? Everything ends with love. Ano pang hanapin mo? Yun yung sinasabi ko eh. Lahat matatapos sa love. Because, wala. If you talk about love, love that comes from the Lord, love that doesn't come from any person, from your job, or from whatsoever, love that comes from, from the Lord alone, it can complete you. It can give you enough contentment. Nothing more, nothing less. It completes everything in us. Yun. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Maraming salamat. Glory to God. Maraming salamat sa Lord. Sa so, wisdom na pinakakalog niya sa atin every day. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And um, if you have some suggestions kung anong gusto niyo pang um, gawin natin for the future, kung ano pang gusto niyo marinig, or something na you, you want me to do, no, for for our vlog, no, just feel free to comment and don't forget also to subscribe para mapanood niyo pa yung mga mapapanood niyo na mas mabilis yung mga upcoming videos natin. Maraming salamat sa inyo mga kapatid and God bless sa ating lahat. Bye!